Oh yeah. So this is our start of the mechanics. It's three mechanic. Well, four forces actually. There's three forces packs. The first pack is five lessons. The second pack is two lessons, and the third pack is one lesson. Right. Let's have a look. Full screen. Oh, seems to have a random box. I don't know if you can see that. It seems to be a random box. I wonder if that's my uh, the area that it's um, doing it on. So it says here, look, five consolidations, five lessons. So the first bit is a reminder. It shows you all the modeling assumptions that we did. So that's in your packs. So you can have a read through that. There's also uh, about rough surfaces, Newton's laws, and types of forces. This is quite interesting because we've got to resolve the forces parallel and perpendicular to the plane. Right, so let's have a look at this first one now. So, oh, seems to be missing an arrow. Yours should have an arrow going up there. So the idea is we take each force and we can stick it on the end of each other, which is what this bit here does. And then if I wanted the resultant, oh look, it's missing the force again now. If I want the resultant, I start at the start and go to the end of the last one. And draw a line in. I remember doing this when I did physics at, at A level. You can have quite complex diagrams where you draw them to scale. Anyway, so that's quite easy for us there. So we just use Pythagoras to work out the hypotenuse and we can use trig to work out the angle at which it works at. So that's that part. That's quite straightforward. That's quite nice. Right, so then it talks about resolving forces. So I'm going to do it parallel and perpendicular to the plane that it's on. So just horizontal and vertical when it's flat, but when it's on a plane, you've got to think a bit more. I'm going to call the distance uh, horizontally x and the vertical one y. I know from my trig that sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that tells me then that that is f sine theta. So the one which is opposite the angle is always, whatever that force is, sine of whatever the angle is. So that's F sine theta. If I look at cos theta, that's X over the force. So X is F cos theta. So whatever one is next to the angle is the force times by cos theta. Theta. There. So I just break it up like that. And if you remember, the one next to the angle is cos, and the one opposite the angle is sine. Can't go wrong. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So it says to work out the horizontal and vertical components. So this will be, this one here will be, because that's the 6 newtons, it will be 6 cos 25, and that will be 6 sine 25, that's a 5 by the way, so horizontally it's 6 cos 25, which the completed pack says is 6 cos 25, don't work it out, and vertically it's 6 sine 25. Similar idea for this one, so I could use the 35 or I could use a 55, it's up to you. So if I go and use that, then the one that's next to it is cos, so that would be 9 cos 35. The one that's opposite is sine, so that would be 9 sine 35. So horizontally, I've got 9 sine 35, and vertically, I've got 9 cos 35, whatever them values are. I'm on 422, so I might not do the second example. I'll do it as a separate video, okay?